Well, good morning, guys. Guess what? Our entire plans for today have changed, but nothing surprising. Very few times do our plans for a day not change. So we are headed back out to the coal mine farm today to continue on that farm restoration. So let's get to it. We got a little equipment we got to get refueled and we'll get back to work. Tank one done. And tank two is about a 48 gallon tank so we're gonna let that one fill for a little bit. Check the ranger real fast, make sure it's got enough to get through the day. It's got, it's got over half a tank. That'll be more than enough for today. Welcome back to the farm. I still do work here. He does. If any of you were wondering, we did not fire Dustin. I was just missing for three weeks. Yeah. We just had him secluded in a... It wasn't a vacation, far from that. <laughs> no, we just had him... We just had him secluded in the semi. Like 70,000 bushel of corn. Yeah. Nothing big. <laughs> no, and he's... After today, he's going to wish he could go back. I know, I'm like, you guys don't have any more grain I can haul today? Yeah. I'll come back tomorrow when it's 70 out. Yeah. It's going to be a hot one today. The, we think we got it bad, but then the I'm like, misery. Ugh. The misery of that. Hey, maybe. we could be detasseling corn today. Dustin said they've got that out by him right oh, now. Yeah, they're they're detasseling in this. They're actually there. doing it manually. Well, they go Kids. through. They go through with the machine, and then they go and clean but it up. But then they've got a crew that walks through just to make sure. Oh, no. I did that at Purdue one summer. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> well, it wasn't detasseling, but it was. Like I worked, the for the, I worked for the agronomy department, so we had to walk cornfields all summer yeah. for fruit worm traps. That was hot, some hot work. And then you get up north into the muck. Uh -huh. So not only is it hot, and, but then you're sinking. You know, it's just like walking through a sponge. Oh, that'd be <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Like the Florida Everglades, you're just walking through a swamp. Swamp, yeah. yeah. All right, well, after what seemed like everything needing a tank of fuel, I'm the last one at the shop and we're headed to the coal mine. See you guys there. It's nice when you're not the first one here and you don't have to get out and worry about unlocking the gate. You can just drive right on in. Dusty. Dry. All right, so I think what we're gonna, what we've decided to start with, is we've got a short stretch of high tensile back, probably the furthest, furthest pond that we're gonna. It's all junk. We're gonna take it out. So we've got this fancy, this fancy little thing that goes on the hitch of the Ranger, with a handle, and it just spins and it rolls all the high tensile up. But what we forgot is that yesterday we found out with the sprayer in the bed of the ranger we can't we can't get to the hitch we're going to take it to the closest farm we got we've got a fork truck over there i think they're going to run over there real quick and just offload it since we didn't prepare for this very well okay well fortunately the ac in this doesn't work and also i have no door even if it did but get some airflow in here and at least I'm out of the sun.
So a little update, came back the lane. This is the path that we take down to our main pond. Uh, cleared back a little bit last year, so it's more or less it's okay for a small vehicle. So I think this whole fence, as you can tell, is junk. Do we need to push this back? The question is, how hard is it going to be to push this back? Uh, I mean, you're, 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 you're right there. I mean, this is where one of those mowers, mowers yep. would be ideal. Hmm. It's like we need to go get one. Yeah, like we should have bought that used tractor that had, yes. remember, had the, tractor had the ditch mower on it. Man. Never even thought about yeah. it. Yeah. When, when we bought that, the tractor that's on our mower, on our chopper, we had the chance to buy one that had a one of the ditch mowers with the counterweights on like built into the tractor we've kicked ourselves pretty much from that day on not buying it all right so after a little bit of discussion instead of messing with the the steep sidewall trees whatever you want to call that we're going to leave that alone for now we're going to tear out this whole fence and I think we're gonna end up making our new drive over here. Uh, fill this in, kind of put a culvert here eventually. But putting the drive in on this side of the fence will allow us to forget about that whole wood edge and we can just mow it like normal. So I'm gonna give you guys to dad, stick you on top of the excavator for a little bit, let you see some big limbs fall. Tell those limbs are a little dead. Even the side limbs are about as hollow as can be. pushing trees back into this ravine and let them rot out. So those little circles you see down there in the shallow part, Kyle said they're bluegill beds. They'll dig them out and then put sticks in there and kind of cover their eggs up so they're protected. Here's a look at the pond. It needs a lot of work as well. Can you guys see our little pontoon that we use as our dock? Way over on the wrong side. Hey Kyle, that's gonna be a cold swim. Good, I'll get it right now. Yeah, don't get bit by no snapping turtles. A little update. It is now 92 degrees and 93 degrees. Kyle says 93, <laughs> and well over 100 degree real feel. It's so the it's the surface of the sun is what it is. Yeah, it's a little warm for us, and we've got. I don't think we have enough motivation between the four of us that one man should have. But because of that, 
Dustin and Kyle were working on this high tensile fence on their own earlier before lunch, but as you can tell, it is well grown up. So we figured the four of us are gonna try and tackle this together, see if we can't knock it out today. And honestly, that's most likely all we're gonna get done out here today. Kinda of hopefully get this done quick and call it an early day, get out of this heat. You guys have never seen how you roll up high tensile. So the tensioners are right here in the middle. And then, so Kyle's got a one that's free. We've already cut the other end. And then you basically just wrap it get it get it started and then just start wrapping while other guys kind of keep it pulled freely and so Kyle's wrapping Dustin's pulling dad's making sure he can free up any catches and I'm supervising kind of like this gig You're doing great, Kyle. Keep going. What does mom and dad always say? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> They're all three very quiet right now. You need to get the hydraulic one you mount on a backhoe. We have Can talked about that? that. We've talked about trying to uh, kind of ri rig up our own. But that's all That's all there is to this, and this is actually pulling really, no, it is. really no, nice. You missed the fun stuff. Yeah. So... Hopefully they all go you this didn't way. Record all the fun parts this morning. <laughs> yeah, they already they already took all the broken posts and cut them off. So fingers crossed. This is this is the worst of it this afternoon. So I can only require I can only talk so much before I run out of stuff to say, and I actually have to put the camera down and get to work. So all right. So this is what we run into when everything gets all fallen down, and it's on, that one's. That one. Yeah, I know. That one's solid. It's got caught down here somewhere. So he's kind of feeding it right here. And so what what Kyle so what Kyle's doing is he is every time we yell at him, he'll put tension on it so that we can see which line we're trying to find. And it's tight all the way through here. So what's that? Yeah, Kyle's pulling on it and it's not for oh, there it went. So it's this one right here. So we just gotta have guys every so often feeding it through. Kyle, if you can keep tension on it, I can, yeah, there you go. Okay. The whole, hope this goes smoothly, nice and easy. Yeah, it didn't happen. Got a huge ball that we didn't even try and wrap there. Got most of it wrapped though. Got some decent piles. Next time somebody complains about an office job, we're bringing them out here. <laughs> no kidding. Got it. I got the rest of it wrapped up that we could, and as you can tell, it all just gravity. We are all completely soaked. So <laughs> we didn't the biggest mistake we had today was coming back out here after lunch. But we made productive work of what time we did out here this afternoon. But I'm calling it quits. I already called it. So. <laughs> uh, we did. We tried. Can't say we didn't try. Yeah, it's definitely not worth it today. One, knowing that tomorrow is literally going to be about 25 degrees cooler for us. And two, we're, we're the bosses. So we can, we can do that. We can do that on a job like this. You have the power. Yeah. So. All right, well... We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to continue this in the morning when it's a lot cooler. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Well, today it is 67. Not near as humid as yesterday. So this should be a completely different work experience. All right, so since we were able to get all of the high tinsel out of this yesterday, I'm just kind of coming through with the skid steer, taking out any little tree, kind of clearing it out. That way we can bring the chopper through last and just mow it off. Kyle's up there, he's getting started on this woven fence, trying to get all of the, I guess Dustin's helping him too. 
getting all of the posts and everything disconnected from the woven fence so that once I'm done with this, I can just head over there and just rip all the woven out next. From here on, this is where it starts getting fun and we have to start messing with that. Guesses, Kyle? A year? I no, say. what it was used for. It's all frayed out. Yeah, probably. Something back in coal mining days. I mean, part of that still looks really good. I'm trying to figure out how old this chain is. Or let's have cable. it carbon dated like everybody else. Yeah. Does. Uh, you carbon dated, it'll be like 2.7 million years old. <laughs> Fred Flintstone used yep. this. <laughs> yep. I don't know. But. Never expected to pull that up. No, this didn't take very long at all. I think just get this fence rolled up. Mash it down and get rid of it. And then we can come through with the chopper, mow the rest of this off and pick our trees up. And that's one more project down here that we can mark off the list. All right, well, there it is. Give this pasture two weeks, you won't even be able to tell there was a fence there. What I just finished up with was this entrance to the pond, which is actually on the other side of those big trees. But widened that out. Now we shouldn't have any problem getting any, any truck or vehicle or anything through there. And I think Dustin's going to come over here real quick and mow that down, make it look real nice for us. That's a job well done, if I do say so myself. That's going to be the end of this video. Random fact, who made the first assembly line? Anybody know? Henry Ford. There's your interesting fact. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.